or Mr. Johnston? Mr. Pretorius. <laughs> it, is, uh, it, is, it is quite strange almost to sit around the fire talking uh, you with the microphone in your hand and, and us talking to, to other people that you're starting to get to understand and, and they certainly have enjoyed, I know from reading some comments, seeing how you've looked at things and uh, welcome. It is a big pleasure. Thanks, man. It's been a, yeah, it's been a, a great experience. Um, on the, I think it was on this morning's drive, we were, we were trying to think of words to describe um, our day, or our, our uh, time we had, had spent with the leopards, and just, just on the drive and with you. And there were so many words that came to mind, but uh, I think a word that sort of stuck with me was, uh, was magical. And uh, that's uh, sort of how the, the bush is for me. It's, um, I, have, I think the ocean is magical, and I think the bush is magical. And, uh, but uh, being able to spend time with everyone um, at camp and with you at Wild Earth, and um, it's been uh, it's really fantastic. And I hope I, hopefully I can spend some some more time out here. Well, I certainly hope so. We'll uh, we'll spend some more time around many fires. We've uh, and then the maybe a trip. Just uh, I know we spoke about it a little bit a uh, while back. Um, Roy is who I went with, and then we did a trip together also with his fiance later on. And um, Roy, a couple of questions I want to ask you. One is a, is, is a very it's a very strange question. It's a very good one. Uh, it's one that typically is asked to everyone that starts out here new. And I know you're just visiting as a, as a guest and a friend of, of not just of me, of, of, of Wild Earth as well. Um, but uh, you see, as always, I've got two angles to this. The first part of the question, very simple. gets asked to everyone when they start out here and, and, and spend some time out here. What's your favorite animal? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a simple question, but it's a hard question. Um, pizza... I'd say first up, you know, as a kid, I always thought of a, of a wolf as, as my favourite animal, and um, still happen to spend some time with wolves in the wild. They're fantastic, but um, it, it's it's kind of an amazing thing because you you go on a drive and you get close with a particular animal, let it be a buffalo or an elephant or uh, a leopard, and they each, to me, become my favourite animal and um, you get to appreciate them um, in the wild. Um, yeah, so, Pete, it's a, it's, a, it's a difficult question to answer, man. Um, that's probably how I can summarize it best. No, it's, it's, it's a question I like asking because in the beginning, uh, it's a question that got asked a few times of me. I also find it difficult because, again, as many as you know, um, I quite often go, this is one of my favorite animals, one of my favorite trees, or one of my favorite birds, and it really is, it, it is the case. Um, Without being funny and not evading the question, it really is just a case of all these amazing things out to humans, I think, ultimately, if I had to be honest. One of my favorite animals, they're fascinating to watch and observe, and I, luckily enough, happen to be one, so I can even introspectively figure out a little bit more about the species, but that's something we're starting to talk about now and again. Yeah. Um, um, days get mixed up. Which is so you've seen yeah. three generations of, of leopards. Just a, a quick impression of, of, of the last couple of drives. You were looking at it from the camera side, and I'm talking too much. You know what I mean? Yeah, it was... It was <sighs> It was uh, difficult to to actually concentrate on uh, but as my job as the cameraman because it was just very overwhelming. We were very lucky to be witnessing what we were witnessing and sometimes I would forget I was actually behind the camera and I hopefully that didn't show too much um, but I looked up occasionally just to sort of take this, take it all in and um, but I think sure to try and Pinpoint uh, the exact moment which was amazing there. Was, it's very difficult as well. Um, yeah, as as I say, we were lucky enough to spend so much time with them. Uh, never seeing a leopard in the wild. I've watched National Geographic, uh, National Geographic Wild, um, and longed to see a leopard. And yeah, as as Pete says, we were, I was lucky enough to see three generations. Um, very special. Um, feeling very blessed. And. Uh, thanks to Wild Earth that I've had this opportunity to come and visit Pete, meet everyone here at Wild Earth and um, thank you to everyone here for uh, making me feel so at home here and uh, hopefully next time I come back I'll have, be able to experience uh, something yeah, as amazing so yeah. thanks very much Pete and it was, uh, pleasure, as you know, amazing, it's, been, yeah. it's been a pleasure having you around in, in many capacities both just to, to sit around a fire and talk mm. a little bit um, but also just with having your influence around camp and just running around and doing things and, and being actively involved is, is always nice. Um, and again, I'm going to do this quite a few times. I've realized this has sort of become normal now around the fire. There's all these things to think about. But I think for the moment we should say goodnight. 
Um, Rex is my pimp on, like you said. Just see him there in the back. You going to find him for? Okay, cool. Rex is on his way. Good night, Rex. Thanks, Mpho. See you tomorrow. Um, and uh, yeah, we're going to say good night. Thank you very much for joining us around the fire. Thank you for, for spending time with us at Wild Earth. Uh, as you do on drive and during the day and the evening and, and also those of you that, that stay up late at night and see things late at night, our night, of course for you it's not that, that late sometimes, but uh, it, it really has been phenomenal. Like I said, without going on too much and starting to, to, to bore you and myself maybe, uh, it has been a phenomenal personal journey for me the last couple of months. Uh, you've played a very big role in that, um, as of my friends and, and, and people that are close to me around here, and, uh, and, and as is Lishan. And, um, yeah, I just want to thank you for that. I'll probably do that again still many, many times in future. But uh, it has been a, an incredible journey so far. And, and I wrote something down today that uh, I don't even think we're understanding what we're doing yet. And I don't just mean us at Wild Earth. I mean us, everyone that is, that is aware of what we're doing. It is something that will become very, very interesting for, for us from, uh, from many different points of view. So uh, for now, we're going to say good night. Thanks for being around the fire with us. Uh, tomorrow morning will be, will be my last drive before going on leave. Roy will be on camera with me. Um, Rex will be taking you out tomorrow afternoon and uh, I'll be gone for two weeks. I'm going to be going to Cape Town. I'm going to see a lot of my very close friends and people that are special to me. I'm going to relax as much as I can. I'm going to sleep at least three times longer per day than I have been and uh, I'm going to be pretty quite quiet. Watch the ocean for a bit and go climb a mountain or two. The trees aren't always that uh, climbable down, down in the Cape. Thank you for joining us. From myself, Peter, from Rory, Andre, Katya, Roxanne, Marco, Matteo behind the camera and Rex and them that are on their way home. It's been an awesome evening always chatting to you and uh, I'm going to say good night. See you tomorrow morning, 6.30 bright and early.